talked about how SDA needs to be user-centered and sort of on the margin, you mentioned this issue that um, in many situations, in many territories, SDA creators don't really get credited. So in a way, you have a high profile thanks to media articles and you have been actually interviewed by Netflix, but normally uh, um, SDH creators don't really get a credit. So there's no way to check who created SDH or closed captioning in many territories. Whereas the standard practice is for translators who are working on subtitles to be credited. Do you find that a bit of a paradox in this context? You talked earlier that how creative SDH is and it is offered by a specific person. Should SDH creators be credited in your opinion? I think so. And it's something that I've been discussing recently with my peers and trying to work out how it might be a possibility in the future. Because like you say, it's a creative thing and it's just, in in my opinion, in my experience, having translated as well, like I find it just as creative a process as being a translator. And it's a very unique skill. It's, you have to understand the meaning of sound for a start, which not everybody realizes. And so, yeah, if, if it were up to me, it would be something that we were credited for. Before we move on, let's perhaps explain why uh, as age creators are not credited and I think that's because many people in the industry have this perception that SDH or closed captioning is basically an automatic task in a sense that it's just creating transcription and there is no creative element uh, to it and I guess you fully disagree with such a perception. Well it depends on the person that's performing the task like I have knowledge background experience and I've I've studied and learned to do it a certain way so that I could incorporate definite descriptors that explain things for the deaf community, the hard of hearing community. I work in a way to try and cover as much as I can. And so I think that there's obviously a difference between someone who's performing their task that way and someone who is performing the task in a very automatic way where they're like, just ex like they don't think of the intention of the sound. And so, yeah, I can say I disagree with it for, in my view because I know what the way I'm doing it, but I can't speak for everyone. Yeah. So perhaps to recap, uh, we could agree that surely for entertainment uh, content, SDH is a very creative task and uh, the authors of SDH should be, should be credited. 